Scale of one to ten. How would you rate our kiss from last night? <laughs> Look who decided to join us. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Lock your logbooks. You run into anything you can't handle. Uh, uh, Ellie! You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care. Yo, it's your boy Holla Hard, and what we just watched is a new trailer for The Last of Us 2. Yo, been waiting on this sequel ever since the first game. Ever since I made it to the end of the first game, I was like, yo, the sequel gotta come out ASAP. It just the way it ended, it's like, yo, we gotta get a sing uh, sequel. No doubt about it. You can't save her. Yeah, so that trailer was shown during PlayStation State of Play, which was uh, aired, what, Tuesday in the later afternoon. So they are releasing, of course, your standard edition for $59.99. They will have a special edition for $79.99. And they will also have a collector's edition and Ellie edition. For the collector's edition, that's going to be $169.99, which will include a crafted uh, Ellie statue. My guess, I can't remember the size, but my guess is probably like a 12 inch statue or bigger. Uh, it's supposed to come with a replica of Ellie's uh, bracelet, and it's going to come in a steel book case. Uh, also, a 48 page mini art book from Dark Horse. A set of six enamel pins, a lithograph art print. And a set of five stickers. That's the collector's edition. It'll also come with a voucher for the digital content. So you have a digital. And of course you have the physical disc. And you'll get like the dynamic theme. A set of six PSN avatars. A digital soundtrack. A digital version of the mini art book. The Ellie edition is $229.99. Gives you all the contents of the collector's edition. Plus a full size fully functional a recreation of ellie's backpack an embroidered patch and a seven inch violin record featuring music from the original soundtrack yo that seems pretty dope but uh i don't, I don't know i wouldn't mind having that backpack but i'm pretty sure i'll probably find a backpack separate by itself somewhere instead of having to get that ellie's edition and the most important thing is you've seen at the end of the trailer the release date february 21st 2020 that's uh i'm excited i can't wait for it so from the intro of the trailer it shows them like in a community you know and it's doing a winter time snow and all of that and it has 
the old the western vibe since it's a bunch of log houses wooded houses whatever log cabins whatever you want to call them and then you're riding horses it just they trying to redevelop since everything happened whatever but it gives me the vibe of the walking dead show pretty much but i think it's dope is the the story itself is very interesting and intriguing which i like as you remember from the first one it's like this inf- infection of pores roaming around and you breathe it in that's how you get infected and turn or you end up dying from it then you turn so they still have your monsters in it like the clickers which was so annoying but if i recall it see it's been so long since i played a game i'm gonna have to revisit the first one but you had your 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 regular guys if I'm correct, that was like just dead. Then you had your clickers. Then you had like I think one or two other type of monsters above that. Then the assumption from this part is as if the friend she was looking for end up being kidnapped by another group and she tried to go find her Hunt her down and friend get killed in front of her. That that's my assumption, just based on how the trailer going. And now she just wants revenge and go and go right back after that group. That's kind of tough. Ellie is she's tough, and the look of the game is just so beautiful. One part about her that's that's very shocking to me is that my man Joel is back. Joel is he's badass. To me, in a way, he's like a, a Rick Grimes. I feel like that's that's him. But to me, that was shocking because from we were giving given two trailers prior to this throughout the the years since I want to say they did a teaser since what 2016. Since then, well, I remember only seeing two trailers that was like fresh and it was no sign of joel so my assumption was damn he must have just died off you know just being so old now it shows that he's not i'm excited for this are you guys excited for this if so leave leave some comments let me know and let me know what other games y'all uh very hyped up about but uh until next time i catch y'all later it's your boy holla hard peace